One of the, uh, I'm a big fan of your 60 seconds to leadership. I read that. One of the areas I wanted to talk about, um, and you kind of brought this up earlier, getting slammed with different things and you have 185, 190 people. Uh, talk to me a little bit about learning how to uh, delegate effectively because you can't scale yeah. unless you can delegate. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's something that you quickly learned that uh, even though especially transitioning, I would say from uh, at every level, um, is it becomes more and more difficult because there, there's work that at one point you were doing yourself and now you basically have to entrust others to do it. And that entrustment part is probably the hardest uh, in terms of that mindset of, of letting go. Um, I, I think in that, in that respect, I think first approaching it with a, with a mindset is like, if I don't let these things go, uh, and transition them to others, uh, my growth and then the effectiveness of my organization will be hampered. So you really need to tell yourself that tough, hard truth, because otherwise, um, it's not a, it's not something that you do as like optional or out of good heart. It's like something you have to do. Otherwise, literally like you will fail at your job because what your new job requires you to do uh, is very different than what you were doing before. So I think that hard truth, I think is important to acknowledge that's first. I think this, the second one is, um, I think in the buildup, like we were talking about before of, of you basically continuing to invest and in building your leadership bench. I think having people, you know, be ready to be able to, you know, take on more. I think is certainly part of it as well, because you need to be in a position where you can turn and you can be like, hey, I think this person on my team is ready to take on more, ready to take on a challenge. Because both from a from a skill set, from a capacity perspective, et cetera, because they're also building their next level leaders as well. So I think developing that capacity becomes important so that you have somebody to essentially uh, delegate to. And then the third one I would say is, being crystal clear on the outcome that needs to be achieved, but leaving the team the freedom to figure out how to do it, I think becomes important. And, and that also means accepting that the team may do it in a very different way than what you did. Um, and so that, that mental acceptance is not as easy as it sounds, but, uh, yeah. but it's important. Um, so I think those are at a high level, like three things that I, that I look at when it comes to a delegation. And I always think to myself, like, no matter how how much I think I'm delegating, I'm sure I could be delegating more. So literally, like uh, I set time for myself, like every quarter as I'm self-reflecting on the quarter that has passed, it's like, what are the things that are currently on my plate that I'm doing that I should be delegating? Uh, and then again, you may not delegate them right away, but at least you need to have a path to, uh, to get there. Um, and again, when I look at Every year that passes, especially if I'm in the if I'm in the same role, I'm always thinking like I cannot be spending my time, for example, in 2024 the same way I was spending it in 2023. It's not healthy for me, for the team, for the organization, and so that prompts me to also think, okay, what's the next wave of things that maybe I was doing last year that now my next level leaders will do this year? It's great. I I, I think it's delegation is one of those things that people do almost too late. It's like being yeah. proactive and thinking of getting ahead of the curve. Like what, what capacity do I need to develop? What, what training um, can I do to help uh, get myself to that delegation place? Absolutely. It reminded me too of another quote that uh, we actually just put into a class, which is, um, well, it's that it's delegation means giving up what you want to keep, which is control and keeping what you don't really want, which is accountability. So it's, <laughs> so it's like, so yeah, it is, it is tough, but it's, it's such an important. 